nice to start with something very positive today. Great. Leticia, thank Th you for waiting. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, I have five properties that I'm presenting today, uh, very briefly, because I know that you're keeping to a strict timetable. Uh, <laughs> 10 Ambrico Place is, the subject area is approximately half of the site. It's suitable for, currently vacant, and is suitable for medium density residential development. Uh, 474 Ellerslie Pamua Highway and 6 Bar 20 Allenby Road are both residential properties. 72B Delta Avenue and 211 Blockhouse Bay Road are both vacant strips of land that could only be disposed of to adjoining landowners. Consultation has been undertaken with the uh, council group, including CCOs, local boards and relevant iwi. Uh, there have been no issues raised through the uh, various consultations that we've undertaken and the uh, Faux Local Board and Mangakiki Tamaki Local Board, which these uh, five properties are both in, are very supportive of the proposed divestment of these properties. Happy to recommendations. Oh, second that. Question. Oh. Moved by Councillor Sec Wood, seconded by uh, Councillor Darby. Moved by Councillor Darby, seconded by me. Um, Councillor Cooper. Yeah, just the Delta Ave one. Yes. It doesn't say in the report or the attachments. What I'm lacking on is, in um, page 27, number three, it talks about previous conversations with owners and everything, but it doesn't, actually, it doesn't actually come to the point where it says it's selling it to this current owner or not, and if we're trying to sell it to somebody else, you've got the issue of encroachment already on the land, so how can you sell it if we're selling it to someone else when it's got encroachment on it? Uh, through the Chair, we will seek to work through that if this is approved by the Governing Body. So you're saying, so are the, or is it sensitive information, but are the current owners who've encroached, next uh, adjacent owners, are they looking to buy it? Or? We would seek to dispose of the property to them, that would be the logical choice. There's been resistance in the past, but that is what would be the best possible outcome. And what is the remedy if... You can't really sell it to anyone else if the neighbours got part of their building on it. We would need to get Council's uh, building control team involved. Mm, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Member Taipei. Thank you, Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if you could uh, clarify for me the benchmark that you use around significant cultural interests versus cultural interests. I can't off the top of my head, sorry. However, I can uh, get some feedback from my colleague, uh, Caitlin Borgfeld, who undertakes our iwi engagement, and she can specify exactly what those benchmarks are, and I can forward that through to you. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Philip Carona. Um, thank you, Chair. Just on the, um, the iwi feedback, there are some questions that have been raised by them in regards to the property. And uh, I think in about two or three of them um, from Te Akatai Wai or Hua. So what is our response in regards to their concerns? <coughs> Which specific properties are these? If you have a look. Hello. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kept on looking over there and I thought you were cross -eyed. The same voice not, not that I, you know, I thought you were cross-eyed, but you're obviously not. Um, Sorry, I was also trying to find where you were referring to. Hey. Yeah, no, our agenda. Uh, specific. Yeah. Yes. Which specific properties? Just this so is I the can one go in to... uh, 474 LSD per mule. And it's got a mention there with Te Akatai Waihua. And also, there's another property in Pam Muir, <coughs> which basically reads the same thing. Um, and also, just to address Ngāti Te Atawai or Hua on the project, I just wanted to make sure that there is one, what is the, the avenue for iwi in regards to concerns that they have addressed. We've had some interest from relevant iwi groups that we've uh, engaged with in purchasing some of these properties, and if there, 
these properties are approved for disposal today, we can explore that further. Yeah, but there's one that doesn't look at purchases. Just for just if you have a look at it, it just states that that it's 500 metres yes. from uh, a site of of, of cult cultural significance. So what are we doing with that before the sale of the property? My understanding is it was the feedback was noting that it's within 500 metres of a site of cultural significance, and that was the feedback. We weren't asked to do anything further in respect okay. of that. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Cracks. Can you just clarify whether that's a site of significance or a site of value? Read the agenda. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you just clarify the question? Well, there's a, there's a difference between, yes. uh, between the sites of, cold, between the sites <laughs> of, of uh, value and the sites of significance. There are 3,000, or there's a couple of thousand sites, maybe more, of value, but there's only 61 sites of significance. It's cultural relevance. I just, need, I just need to get a clarification. Are we talking about a site of significance here? Are we talking about a site of value? Sorry, this is on the Ellerslie Pemua Highway property? Yes, yes. Cultural relevance has got there, doesn't it? It says cultural relevance yeah. here. Cultural relevance. relevance. Yes. If, half, if half, half a kilometre. What does that mean? We don't have cultural <laughs> relevance, we have cultural relevance. Half a kilometre relevance. We have cultural relevance. Just ask her to read the agenda. So, so <laughs> oh, uh, Madam Chair, I wonder yeah, if thank you mind telling you. Oh, no, I don't. Uh, uh, now, now. The other houses are within half a kilometre. Then when I have the floor, I have the floor. That's Not right. Councillor Philip Pine, who I didn't interrupt. If, if oh. you read it. But, uh, thank you, councillors. <laughs> We've started the day off really well. Yeah, we did well. until Councillor Philip Hines. And oh, all I know, <laughs> you Councillor Quacks. Quacks. Yeah. Yeah. Councillor yeah. Quacks. Thank you. Yeah. Councillor Philip Hines, both of you settle. They're both worries. Okay. It actually says cultural relevance, okay. and the cultural relevance will be explored once this goes through with the iwi involved. So presumably. the cultural relevance. Half a kilometre just, away. Just, yeah, that's just, fine. Okay, tell yeah. me what Uranium or something in there, what's or what's what? Uh, so now, Councillor Lee. Or, uh, <laughs> cultural, uh, Thank uh, you. cultural sites of value kinds of things. We have a new definition now, which is cultural I'm relevance. I'm not sure who's... No, who's it's on. not a definition. If you read the agenda and you understand the process, Panuku Development Auckland... I'm answering for you, Letitia. <laughs> Actually invite all very yep. relevant parties, including Iwi, to make a comment. The comment has been made by <coughs> the Yakutai that they have a site of cultural relevance within 500 metres of this particular site. Once it goes up for sale, it doesn't that make will sense. be... It certainly makes sense to me. I don't know about anybody oh, else. I mean, they say, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's anyway, it's been moved and seconded. It's within 500 metres of a site with cultural relevance. Now, is, we don't have cultural relevance. We either have cultural... Uh, that is their words, uh, Councillor <laughs> Quacks. You're, you're now splitting hairs, I think. Oh, I'm going to put... Oh, Councillor Clo. No, just on that first one, I just want to make sure that the... Um, Panuku's taking cognizance of the local board's um, informal feedback about uh, the adjacent kindergarten, etc. Yes, yes. The uh, Faux local board did provide us with feedback that they wanted to ensure that any design, because on the other half of Ambrico Place there's a kindergarten, that any design uh, of a medium density housing uh, took into account the fact that there was a kindergarten adjacent and it was designed accordingly and we're very, very mindful of that. And the kindergarten's also been aware so that a medium density the housing development has been considered for some time. Thank We'd you. like it to be very, very complementary with the yep. surrounding area. Oh, it's important also the sensitivities of it. Mm. Yeah. Will it be moved and seconded all those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against, Aye. carried. Thank you, and thank you for waiting so long, Letitia. <laughs> okay.